I'm Henry Laksha. I am Francisco Segundolo. And you are listening to the Game to Love podcast. Oh, 
I'm really am. Hi everyone, welcome to the Game to Love Tennis podcast. You are with me, my name is Megan. Uh, we have the semi-final, the second semi-final of the day in Berlin. Top seed on Jabir versus number seven seed Coco Goff. And we have Coco Goff serving to get us underway in this second semi-final. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Then we have a good first serve from Goff, follows it up with a good forehand, a looping ball up from Anshabu, and Goff comes in to take the forehand on the rise, and it's 15, love. Good depth there from Coco Goff. So I hope you're all doing well today on this Saturday afternoon here. It's just gone 3 o'clock in the UK, uh, 4 o'clock, I believe, in Berlin. We had our previous semi-final was Maria Sakkari versus Belinda Bencic. Bencic coming through that in three tight sets. It was an incredible match. Uh, Sakkari taking the first uh, on a tie break and then Bencic the second two, six, four, six, four. So Bencic awaits the winner of this in the final. And there's a ball just a bit too long there from Coco Goff. We are at 15 all. Ons having a great week here. Well, as is Goff, uh, but Ons loves the grass. I think her chances, are, she'll be eyeing up Wimbledon for sure. She did well last year. She beat Igor Fiontek in Wimbledon last year. So it's a second serve here for Coco Goff. And it's good. We have a forehand return from Anjabur. And the shot from Coco Goff is into the net. 15.30, a little bit of early pressure here on the serve of Goff. So while we are here, why don't you get your predictions in? Let me know who you think is going to win, Jabir or Goff, and how many sets. So 15.30 here for Goff, and it's a great first serve, but Jabir... Yeah, can't get a racket on the ball, and so it is 30 all. That was a lovely serve there from Goff. Hi to everybody who is just joining. Hope you're having a great Saturday. We've got lots of tennis semifinals in, well, it would have been four tournaments, but three tournaments today because the rain in Birmingham has cancelled both semifinals for the women there for today, so they'll play that tomorrow. This is the second semi-final here in Berlin. Bencic winning the first against Sakari, And it's a great serve down the tee there from Coco Goff. It is 40-30, an ace from the young American. Our first projection here on Jabir in three, six, three, four, six, six, three. That'd be great if this could go three good sets. And a great first serve again from Goff, and the return from Jabir is wide. And so Coco Goff gets her first game on the board. You like that? It's been better. It's my match. Let me tell you, I'm not your women. I'm like, one, two, three. Coco. We have another prediction here from MQR predicting 6 4 6 4 Jabir. Yeah, of course, Zachary uh, lost the semi final today and uh, say she's 5 and 12 in semi finals in her career. She, yeah, she struggles to get to those big finals. She gets really deep in tournaments and then just can't get herself over the line. It's, it's unfortunate. She played a really good match. It was one of the matches of the week, that match, but uh, Benchich eventually getting over the line in three. So you have On Jabir here serving. Oh, and it's a lovely forehand cross court from Anshabur. It is 15, love. That just zipped off the racket there. We've had a stat here that Anshabur is second only to Igor Sviontek in match wins on the WTA Tour this year. Would love to see her go deep at Wimbledon. Iga as well. And Goff, of course, which was her breakout tournament at a as a 15-year-old where she beat Venus Williams there. And we have a ball wide there from Anjabur, so it's 15 all. She'll be obviously having a great clay court season coming into this, winning Madrid in the final in Rome. So looking to 
transfer that good form on over to the grass. And so far, she's doing pretty well. Jabir at the net here. Oh, she goes to the backhand flick volley, but can't get a racket on it. And it's 15-30. Fifteen thirty-four on Shabur, a little bit of pressure on the serve. Goes to the serve down the tee, but it's a bit wide, just a tiny bit wide there. Second serve, Shabur. And the 400 turn from Goff is wild, it's long. She went for the big return, but it is 30 all. Question, is Bench a contender for Wimbledon? She's good on grass, but she hasn't really gone deep there. Yeah, I mean, she's, she's done really well this week. She's played brilliantly on the grass, and she is a good grass court player, but she just never seems to be able to make that step at the slams. I know she won the Olympic gold, but I think with this Wimbledon being a little bit more open than you would normally consider a grand slam, I, I would have to put her there. She's she's got to be in that group of players at the top that can challenge for the title definitely. But again, we it depends if we can see her make that step at the Grand Slams. We do have a break point here for Goff though, and a second serve to look at. But the serve is good. We have a backhand return from Goff, and then the forehand cross court from Jabir is good. And the ball looked to be long from Goff, but it's just caught the line. So we have a backhand cross court from Jabir, forehand from Goff. Oh, and Jabir's forehand goes wide. And the first break of serve is Coco Goffs. So first blood here goes to Coco Goff. She will be serving here now at two games to love. You like that? It's getting better. It's my match. Let me tell you, I'm knocking women out like one, two, three. Coco. So Coco Goff here with the advantage to love and takes the first point on her serve here. So it's 15 love. Ah, yeah, Benchich making the US Open semi-final, but hasn't really done it on grass. I mean, she's got the game, you know, to reach a Grand Slam final for sure. We, we know she can do it, but yeah, we've never really seen her do, do much at Wimbledon. But I don't see why she couldn't because, you know, her game does suit the grass well. We've seen it this week. And it's a wide baller from Coco Goff, so it's 15 all. A few of you asking uh, with the matches, so we don't live stream the, the match here. We can't do that. We just provide commentary for people who can't actually access the match there. So it, you can catch it on Prime Video, I believe. But we are just a live watch along commentary. And the ball there goes long from Coco Goff, so it's 15-30. Both players have been down 15-30 on their own serves in this match, but Goff is the only one who's been able to take advantage of that so far. Oh, it's a great first serve there from Coco Goff, though, an ace down the tee, and it is 30 all. Goff serving very well. So Goff serving here at 30 all. And Anjabur can't get a return off. It's a great serve. And it is 40-30. So we do have a point for Coco Goff to consolidate the break. And first serve there is long from Coco Goff. It will be a second serve. off here with a point to consolidate the break it's a good second serve Jabir with a chip forehand return but Coco Goff is into the net so we are at juice so Jabir looking to get that ball straight back hi Alex thanks for joining us thanks to everybody who's joining us don't forget to like the video if you do enjoy the commentary and subscribe to the channel we've got Coco Goff here up a break on Jabir but under a bit of pressure on her serve at juice and we have a let on the first serve uh, result here, Medvedev just won 7-6-6-3. I was watching that match just before I came on here, and they were early in that second set when I came on, so he's got that second set done quite quickly, Medvedev. It's a good result for him. I'm fortunate that he won't be able to back it up at Wimbledon. 
But yeah, Medvedev into the final in Halle, defeating Oscar Otter. So we are at Deuce. On Jabir with a good forehand return from the serve, and it's a looping ball up from Coco Goff, and a nice backhand slice, and a slice of her own from On Jabir. Coco Goff goes down the line. Jabir is there, and Coco Goff with a backhand cross court. Again, Jabir is there. Goff comes into the net, but she leaves the ball because it goes long, and it is advantage to Coco Goff. Got a few Ons fans here wishing Ons luck. She's just a great player to watch, is On Jabir. Oh, love this comment here. It's like listening to sport over the radio back in the olden days. Nice nostalgia. I'm glad you're enjoying it. So advantage here for Coco Goff. It's a good first serve. Oh, Jabir's return just creeps over the net. And then she goes up for the lob as J Goff comes into the net. And it's a great lob. Goff it's herself applauds that because she can't get a racket on that. It is back at juice. So a question from Alex, we'll be doing the Kyrgios Hercatch match. Yes, yeah, so Hamon will be your commentator for that one. So I believe that'll be getting underway really soon in Harla since the Medvedev match has just finished. So yeah, you'll be having uh, Hammond will be doing that. So you can take your pick of matches. We did also have, uh, well, Berrettini and Van der Zandt are in their first uh, semi-final over in Queens, but the match has been suspended due to rain. Berrettini with the first set in his pocket, though, 6-4. And we have a lovely backhand down the line here from Angebir, but Goff gets it out. Jabir back with the backhand down the line. And again, Goff is there, and Jabir can't get the second ball over the net. It is advantage to Goff. Coco Goff ran here. Yeah, it's hard to not see the comparisons between Goff and uh, Venus and Serena, really. Venus announcing she won't be playing Wimbledon. Serena will be there. Goff beating Venus in that breakout match at Wimbledon, uh, well, a few years ago at the age of 15. She's now 18. And it's a good start here for Coco Goff. She does indeed consolidate the break. So Coco Goff here, three games to love up on Angebeur. It's an ideal start for the young American Former, well, the French Open finalist this year is Coco Goff on Shabir with that shock exit in round one to Magdalene on the first match of the tournament. I'm constantly saying Goff is going for the eager start. Yeah, I wonder if we'll see any trips to Eager's Bakery. I'm hoping this is going to be a really good competitive match. The matchup is great. I was really excited to be covering this one. Question, is Coco playing Wimbledon? I believe she is. She Well, she put out a, a question on Twitter saying, does anybody want to play mixed with me at, um, at Wimbledon? So I believe she will be playing the singles there as well. So we have uh, Anjabu partnering up with Serena Williams next week uh, as a doubles team in Eastbourne, which is really exciting. Serena's return to the professional tennis court and the grass, of course. I can't, you can't get rid of me covering every match. Yeah, I've been taking quite a lot this week. Um, I'm uh, well. I'm finishing up my PhD, so I'm going to be having a lot more time very soon to be covering all these matches. I'm, I I love it. I, I watch as much tennis as I can. So I hope you don't mind me taking a lot of these commentaries. I hope you're enjoying them. So Andre Beer will be serving here now at Down Love Three. Early break for Goff and the consolidation. So, Anjabur here. Good first serve, and we do have our first shank of the match. It's a shank on the return of serve from Coco Goff, 15 love. Yeah. Another good first serve from Jabir. The return is good from Goff, and there's now a forehand down the middle of the court. Then a backhand down the line from Goff is lovely, and Jabir's into the net. It is 15 all. Alex asked, there are many tennis clubs in Wales. Yeah, there are quite a lot of tennis clubs, actually. Um, well, I used to play uh, for my school. I was a, more of a junior, really. I just play recreationally now. But there are quite a few tennis clubs in Wales, yeah. Although I can't, couldn't name any famous Welsh tennis players. But 
And it's a good combination here. They're from on Jabir. So serve out wide and then the counter punch. And it's 30-15. Prediction here for Ons to win this one. Make it another final this season. And again, it's a good serve from Anjabur. It is 40-15, so a point for Jabur to get on the board in this first set. And again, it's a great first serve, and it's the game for Anjabur. It is three games to one. Jabur is on the board. It's her, it's her, it's her. We're talking about Anjabur. Absolutely love that button. It's my favorite. <laughs> so we do have the first point on the golf serve goes to Jabur into the net from Goff. Love 15. It's a good first serve, though, back in return from Goff. Coco Goff comes into the net. Sorry, from Jabur, the return. And Jabur's net play just goes wide. It's a nice move into the net there from Goff. I think she's asking to challenge this ball on Jabur. Not that you can challenge, but she's asking to see the repeat. And it is, of course, out. We have the automatic line calling here in Berlin. No line judges. And it's a good first serve again from Goff. Comes into the net with the put away. It is 30-15. Question, Alex. Will I be watching Wales at the Football World Cup? Yeah, I will. I'm actually not a big football fan. I'm more of a rugby fan myself, but being the first World Cup we're in since 1960-something, I will definitely be watching it, yeah. Big achievement for the Wales team, that. Yeah, question, uh, Zachary lost in the semi-final. Why was she not seeded? So on the scoreboards, it actually has come up without a seeding next to Zachary's name, but she was, in fact, seeded second in this tournament. But yeah, she did lose to uh, Belinda Bencic in three sets there. Couldn't agree more, Carlton. The Jabir and Kasakina buttons are bangers. I, I sing them in my sleep. Like, <laughs> they're brilliant. <laughs> it's a good first serve from Goff, but it's a good return from Mon Jabir. And she gets a great length on that forehand as on Jabir. And it's 30 all. That's a great shot there from Mon Jabir. We've got some Tunisian flags in the crowd. Off here under a little bit of pressure on the serve. Jabir looking to get that break back. First serve is into the net from Coco Goff. If you're looking for a link to watch the match, I believe if it is streamed, streamed sorry, on Prime Video. And yeah, okay, also on Being Sport One as well. Thanks for that. And we there have a backhand into the net from Coco Goff. So it is a break point on Jabur. It is 30-40. The crowd get trying to get her over the line in this game now. Good first serve from Goff. The back and return is good from On Jabur. And then Goff comes into the net and On Jabur gets the passing shot off. And Jabur does indeed get the break back. That's a very good game from Anjabur there, and I'm going to whack the Anjabur button again because it's just great. It's her, it's her, it's her. We're talking about Anjabur. Love it. Question here from Cotton. We've been told that Pokti Ping means microwave in Welsh. 
it is true. In fact, well, we have two words. I would use the word microdon for microwave, but pop ping is a, a regional uh, term for microwave in Welsh. Fun fact there for you. <laughs> it's a great name. And another question from Alex. Are there any other associations apart from football in which Wales isn't a part of Britain? Yeah, so rugby, um, we have our own team. So the, the UK countries all have their separate teams in rugby. We're a very big rugby nation in Wales. It's our national sport. I believe in a lot of sports we do um, compete under Wales. It's just the Olympics and uh, like the Commonwealth Games, for example, we would compete under Wales rather than Great Britain. But for the Olympics, it, it is just under Great Britain. Yeah, the crowd was was good in that uh, benchich Sakari match, That getting behind both players. It was a really high-quality match, that one. So, yeah, I'm not surprised. And a nice net play here from Angebeur comes in with the put away. It is 15 love back on serve. Question about the button. So I played the Angebeur button because she uh, got the break back. I played the Coco one earlier when she got the break. So generally if a player does well or hits a great shot, wins a game, I'll play the button. So I'll play another Coco one for you in a bit. Second serve here from Jabir. The return from Coco was good, but on Jabir with a lovely angle on the backhand cross court there and gives a fist pump. It's 30 love. That was a very nice angle there from Mons. Good first serve from on Jabir. The return is good from Goff, though. We then have a backhand from Jabir, and the forehand from Goff is wide. It is 40 love. Could we be having a game to love here? Anjabur here at 40 love, three points for the game. And it's a nice serve down the team. The return is in play though, but Jabir with the lightest touch on the backhand drop shot. That was beautiful. And it is a consolidation of that break of serve. <laughs> Beautiful drop shot from Shabir. It's got one of the best drop shots on the WTA tour. Hi, JC. Nice to have you with us. I am very well. Thank you. Hope you are all doing really well. It's a good day of tennis here, although in Queens, the uh, tennis has been suspended because of rain, but I believe that Berrettini and Van der Zandschulp are warming back up over there. It's also been uh, suspended in Birmingham, play to resume tomorrow, the semifinals there. But we had a great semifinal earlier today in Berlin with uh, Sakari and Bencic. Bencic coming through that in three sets. And we have just had Medvedev defeating Otter in the first semifinal over on in Halle. We will be covering the Hukac Kyrgios match, which will be on uh, any di any minute now. We'll have Hammond covering that one, so you can choose which match you'd like. Let's pop in between both. So we have a stat here: Jabir with sixty percent of uh, second serves won, but Coco Goss was down at just thirteen percent. It's love fifteen here for on the Goff serve. Can't disagree with that comment on to divide gravity with that last drop shot. Yeah, the ball just seemed to take all the air off it. It was lovely. She was quite far back in the court when she played it as well. Oh, that was a great counter there from Coco Goth, though it is 15 all. On the stretch from Goth, it's brilliant. <laughs> Alex, if my singing skills are at least three of ten, I'm sure Ben will let me record a new player button song. Oh gosh, I'm not sure if you all want that. Be quite fun though. <laughs> oh, we have a errant ball there from Coco Goff though, and it is 15:30. Ah, thanks. So Berrettini Botic has resumed. Yeah, Berrettini up a set and a break over there in Queens. Oh, it's a good serve there from Goff, though. And yeah, the return is long from Shabir, so it's 30 all. I'll have to pitch that to him and do a double header together. That sounds quite fun, actually. <laughs> Morning to you, Mark, listening from Las Vegas. It's great to see we got listeners from all around the world. It's brilliant. Ons fan, MQR, second favorite player after Eager. They're two pretty great players to be fans of. 
So we are at 30 all on the serve of Coco Goff. Oh, that's a lovely serve out wide, though, from Goff. It's an ace, and it is 40-30. Forty thirty here for Coco Goff. First serve is long though. It will be a second serve. Listening from Dubai. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Good serve from Goff. It's a backhand return from Anjabur, and then she goes down the line. Goff goes to the down the line herself, but it's just pushed wide, and we are at Deuce. Hi Gary, thanks for joining. Yeah, the Sakari bench match was really good. The the quality was just. Brilliant than that. Ma one of the matches of the week. Oh, yeah, and Haddad Maya, of course, she won the title over in Nottingham last week, and she's doing well. She's in the semi final. She will play Halep. Uh, that will be tomorrow, though, because the, the rain has cancelled the play in Birmingham today, the semi finals. So we're on at Juice. We've had a trade of breaks. Goff broke first, but Shabir broke back. And oh, it's an ace from Goff, though. Lovely serve out wide, and it is advantage to Coco Goff. So Goff serving here, and it's just long. Yeah, and you also had a Maya one did win the title, the two fifty in Nottingham. And yeah, she's in the semi-final this week as well. So she's having a really great uh, time on the grass. I think it was Brazil's first grass court title, that one that she won as well. Well, here, Anshapa can't believe that this ball has been called in from Coco Goff. She's standing there just staring at the line with her hands on her hips, but it has been called in. Goff can't quite believe it either. I'm not sure if they're going to show a replay of the ball. But it is just in from Coco Goff. So it's four games to three. And I don't know how she made that, but she can get a button for it. You like that? It's getting better. It's my match. Let me tell you, I'm knocking women out like one, two, three. Golf, golf. That's a good button as well. That might start to get stuck in my head. Question Alex, is this uh, job paid or does the channel still have to grow a bit? Yeah, so it does, um, in fact, pay. It's very, well, it's a great job for me because I get to talk about tennis, do what I love. <laughs> but yeah, we're still trying to grow the channel very much. So, so give us a like, a subscribe, follow us on all the social media, Twitter, Facebook. Got a viewer and listener here from Tunisia. Thank you for joining us. I'm guessing you'll be rooting for Anjabur in this one. Yeah, so Harden Maya with her first title last week. Yeah, she's, she's having a great season. I think she's going to be seeded for Wimbledon as well. I have some Coco fans in as well. It's a good match so far. Hi, MJ. Nice to see you all. Thank you for joining. Forza Tunisia. I've seen a few Tunisian flags in the crowd here. She's got a lot of support this week on Jabir. And a second serve there from Jabir. It's a good second serve, good length on it. And uh, the return is into the net from Goff, so it's 15 love. Oh, it was, I thought it was an ace down the tee there, but it's just been called wide. Second serve for Jabir. And it's a good return of serve from Goff. And then, oh, but the forehand there from Goff is uh, wide. It's 30 love. So if you're looking to see the match, so I'm streaming on Prime Video. I believe you can get it on BN Sports as well. Quite a few Arms fans in here. Uh, MJ, I'm the hardest working GTL podcaster. You have to tell uh, Ben and JG that. <laughs> I 
I love it. I, I think getting to talk about tennis is, is great, especially, you know, with all you knowledgeable tennis fans. It's, it's really nice to chat with you guys. We have a Coco fan here from Senegal. Wish Ons wins the tournament. Got Belinda Bentic waiting for the winner of this one in the final. Who do I like in this matchup? Question from NJ. I love both of these players. Um, I'm, I've really come to enjoy Coco Goff's game this past season, but I have to slightly give the edge to Jabir because she is just one of my favorite players to watch. Yeah, same with Casey. Two of your favorite players here, but got to root for Coco. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with J Jabir just. Yeah, thanks, Gary. 75 likes. So, yeah, we're trying to get to 178 now we've got. So please don't forget to hit the like button. It helps people to find the podcast. Got a lot of, well, both fans. We've got fans for Ons and Coco here. Ale Ons, go Coco, go, go Ons. Ah, I'm just American. Got a root Coco, I see. <laughs> So which channel is broadcasting the match? Uh, I'm watching it on Prime Video. I think Bean Sports is broadcasting it as well. Thanks for joining us, Carlton. Yeah, we've got the Kyrgios Hercatch match also being covered. I think it's by Hammond uh, over on our channel as well. So you can take your pick of both matches. Hope you stick with us here, though. This should be a good one between Jabir and Goff. Oh, Goff comes into the net here, but it is just pushed wide, so it is 15 all. Couldn't agree more. Ons is really fun to watch. Do Amazon Prime subscribers get it for free or it's additional? Uh, it comes as part of the Amazon Prime uh, package. I'm, I get it all for free with my subscription. Nice first serve here from Goff, and the return of serve is long from Jabir, so it is 30-15. Jeremiah here rooting for Coco to win. Thirty fifteen here for Coco Goff. And it goes to the serve out wide, but it is just a bit too wide. Second serve. I believe the channel for Bean Sport was Bean Sport One. I'm not entirely sure because I have it here on Prime Video, but I think one of our listeners is watching it on Bean Sport One. And it's 40 15 here for Coco Goff. It's a good service game. Traded breaks early in this set, but we're now back on serve. And it's a good first serve from Coco Goff on Jabir into the net. And so it is a game for Coco Goff at 5 4. Up here from MQR. Eager's biggest rivals are doing very well on grass. Benchit, Shabur, Zachary, and Halep. Yeah, of course, all of those making the semi-finals of their respective tournaments. Benchit, Shabur, and Zachary here in Berlin. Halep over in Birmingham. So it's five games to four here. Coco Goff just with the edge, and Shabur will come out to serve to stay in this first set. We had a great semi-final earlier this morning between Zachary and Bencic. Bencic coming through that. Lost the first set in a tie break, but then won the second 6-4 and the third 6-4 as well. We've also had Medvedev defeating Oscar Otter over in Halle in the first semi-final of the day over there, 7-6, 6-3. And Hurkacz and Kyrgios are just one game apiece now. Over in Queens, we've got... Berrettini and van der Zandschulp. And Berrettini's actually serving for the match over there at 5-3 in the second set. Took the first 6-4. The semi-finals in Birmingham have been cancelled for today because of the rain. So they should be played tomorrow. Yeah, Nick Kyrgios, he's a bit of a polarizing character, isn't he? Uh, it's... 
some people say he's fun to watch, but yeah, I'm I'd have to be rooting for Hercatch in that match, I think. Had a good win over Auger Eliasim did Hercatch two tie break sets. Medvedev waiting the winner of that one in the final. Jabir here serving. Jabir comes into the net and gets the overhead volley smash, puts away, and it's 15 love on Jabir. Anjabur here, 15 love. First serve into the net, though, so we'll get a second serve to look at. Second serve is good. We have a back and return cross court from Goff and Jabur with the beautiful drop shot, but Goff gets to it and Jabur comes in with the volley. And it's brilliant from Anjabur. It is 30 love. Silky hands there from Anjabur. Lovely drop shot to begin with. And then Goff gets to it, but Jabur is in there like a flash to get the volley away cross court. Good first serve from Jabur and then digs the backhand out off the return. Again with the drop shot, but Goff is there at the net for the volley, but she puts it into the net, so it is 40 love. We're almost at 100 likes, so please don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Give us a follow on all the social medias as well. First serve from Jabir is good. We have a shank from Coco Goff. And it is a game to love for on Shabur. Alex saying, I think the year 2020 is worthy of a tennis movie in the future. You've got Nadal firing on all cylinders, the whole Djokovic saga and Russians banned in Britain. You, you couldn't have written a script <laughs> more crazy for the tennis year this year. Yeah, with the Djokovic saga, with the not being able to play because he's unvaccinated, then you've got... Nadal possibly going for the calendar Grand Slam after being out with injury. Nadal's finding out he's going to be a father as well. And yeah, the, the ban on Russians and Belarusians. It's 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 a crazy year for tennis, this. 50, 15 love here for Coco Goff. And it's a back on turn of serve from Goff. The Orange Burr is good and Coco Goff's Responses into the net. It was fifteen all. Casey saying, "Wish this was. Wish this was the final match. Both lost to Iga in big finals on the clay. Yeah, we had uh, Jabir losing in the Rome final to Iga, and then Goff to Iga in the Roland Garros final. So both in excellent form coming into this. Drop shot queen is on Jabir. Yeah, no, nobody can take that title from Jabir. I don't think right now." So 15 all, Coco Goff serving, backhand return from Monjaberg. Coco Goff with a nice slice down the line, backhand from Monjaberg. Coco Goff with a looping ball, and it just floats past the baseline. It's 15 30. Jaber's won 16 return points in the match so far, compared to six from Goff. 15 30, half chance here for Monjaberg. Oh, thank you so much for your support, MJ. Really, really appreciate it. And I'm really glad you're enjoying the commentary. Yep, yeah, the Curious match. You can find the Curious match on our channel as well. Hammond's covering that one. Curious versus Hercatch. <laughs> Thanks, MJ. Yeah, I've done I've done a lot of streams this week, uh, and hopefully I'm going to be carrying on doing them going forwards because I'm really enjoying it. And I'm glad to see you guys are too. So we are at 30 all on the serve of Goff. Jabir still trying to put a bit of pressure here. Oh, it's a great first serve from Coco Goff, though. It's an ace out wide. And it's 40-30. We have Kyrgios and Hercatch are currently just 2-1 to Hercatch on serve. And Berrettini has won that semi-final over in Queen 6-4, 6-3 against Botic van der Zandschorp. So Berrettini, for, uh, the finalist, the winner, sorry, last year, he's back in the final. 
Second serve here from Goff, and the return from Jabert is long. It's a game to Coco Goff. Six games to five as we change ends. Got, uh, Jabir will now serve to stay in this first set. Coco Goff is guaranteed at least a tie break in this first set. It's a good one so far. We'll get the Coco Goff button out, I think, for that game. You like that? It's been better. It's my match. Let me tell you, I'm not the women out like one, two, three. Coco. I love these buttons. So Coco Goff, 6-5 on Anjabur. 40 minutes on the clock in the second semifinal of the day. Belinda Bencic awaits the winner of this in the final, defeating Maria Sakri, the second seed earlier today, in a really high-quality match in three sets. 6-7, uh, 6-4, six, 6-4 six, four, six, four to Bencic there. Berrettini just winning his semi-final over in Queens. So the second semi-final between Cilic and Krajanovic will be to follow. We had Medvedev winning the first semi-final in Halle against Oscar Otter. And we now have the Hercatch Kyrgios semi-final going on. So we have Coco fan here. I really want Coco to win. Both of these players seem to be really well liked and they're both great to watch as well. A prediction here that Ons will win this game in the end. She's looking here to force a tie break in this first set. And it's a great length on the forehand there from Monja Burr. 15 love. So the first serves into the net from uh, on Jabeur. Uh, second serve is good. Uh, there's a backhand return cross court from uh, Coco Goff is good though as well. Backhand into the net from on Jabeur. It is 15 all. So Goff it seems to be fighting a little bit harder on her own serve to hold. Jabir seems to be getting through hers a little quicker, but Goff still with the, the advantage here at 6-5. And it's a good return of serve there from Goff and looked long from on Jabir, but it's been called in and then Goff with the backhand just goes wide, so it will be 30-15. question asking what Coco and Ons's rankings are. So I believe Ons is ranked number four in the world and Coco Goff is 13. But if Coco Goff does win here, she will crack the top 10 for the first time. Ons Jabir though, second in the race. Second serve is good from Ons Jabir. The return is also good from Goff and Jabir floats the ball along and it's 30 all. Alex asks, do I play any sport on a weekly basis at the moment? Uh, I try to play tennis as much as I can. Uh, I, I'm also, I, I like to run and go to the gym. So I, I do like to, I exercise a lot. But in terms of playing sports, it would just be tennis and squash. Go, go, on A few people trying to get on over the line in this game to force that tie break. It is 40-30. And the second serve is good from Jabir. The forehand return from Goff and then a nice length from Jabir. Forehand on the line from Goff. And then we are backhand to backhand cross court. Then Jabir goes down the line. Goff down the line of her own, but Jabir gets the cross court away. And it's a great cross court shot there. Oh, but Coco Goff with the forehand on the run down the line puts the ball right at the back corner of the court. And it is juice. Sammy saying that uh, Ons deserves this so much. If she wins the title, she'll be classed in the top two. Uh, so not only number two in the race, but then ranked number two as well. And you have to say, uh, Ons Jabir probably is the second best player in the world at the moment. It's a good first serve there from Ons Jabir, though it is advantage Jabir. Can she get this tie break? Goes to the serve down the tee, but it is just out. 
Everyone wants Coco in the top 10. That would be beautiful. Yeah, she the way she's been playing recently, she absolutely deserves that spot in the top 10. Oh, it's a beautiful backhand down the line there from Angebe. That was looked like it was around the net post there, but she flicks it into the corner of the court and she does indeed force a tie break. <laughs> So we have got a tie break in this first set between Anjabu and Coco Goff. Goff serving to get this tie break underway. It's a good first serve and the chip return is good from Jabu. And now Goff comes into the net, but Jabu gets the passing shot. And it is the first mini break to Anjabu. One love. Prediction here that 6-7 uh, for Ons to point to three. So... have seven five KC to Goff here predictions. Jabur serving with the mini break. And Goff for the backhand return. Then forehand from on Jabur. There's a slightly miss hit forehand from Goff. And then Jabur with a drop shot. Goff is into the net, but Jabur with the lob up is too good. Gets over Goff's head and Goff tries to flick it back, but it is out. That's a lovely lob from on Jabur. It is too Zero. That was a beautiful lob. It was too tall for Goff. Managed to just get a racket on to flick it, but it was well out of the court. So it is 2-0 to Anshabur. Good first serve. Forehand return from Goff is good. Then a backhand cross court from Anshabur. Anshabur with the ball right into the corner of the court again. And Goff flicks it in. And then it's a wild forehand from Jabur. She She did the hard work in that rally and then just floated that one long so mini break back to Goff it is 2-1 yeah she went for too much on that one because she'd set it up nicely did all the hard work and hands the mini break back to Goff Anjabur is 5-3 and three in tie breaks this year Goff 5-0 and zero in tie breaks this season First serve is out from Coco Goff. It'll be a second serve. Oh, it's a double fault from Coco Goff. The second serve is into the net, and she gifts Jabur that mini ba mini break right back. It is 3-1 to Ons Jabur. The crowd trying to get involved here. It's a first double fault for Coco Goff as well in this match. It's a really inopportune time. And we have another second serve to look at here for Anjabur. Second serve is good, though. Back and return from Jabur. Then the forehand from Coco Goff. And a shot there from Anjabur again floats long. It is 3 2. So still with the mini break, Jabur. Unstoppable. I like it. <laughs> So Jabir, oh, it's a good first serve from Jabir. And Goff manages to get the racket on it, but it's just wide. So it is 4-2 as we change ends here. These two, it's been very, very close this first set. They've both broken the serve of the, each other once. And we're now in this tie break. The slight advantage now with on Jabir with the mini break at 4-2. And she is serving as well. Of course, Goff not losing a tie break this year yet, though. Jabir 5 and 3, Goff 5 and 0. Jabir serving. And oh, the serve just clips the top of the net, so it will be a second serve. Second serve is good. The 400 turn from Goff and the backhand from Jabir is great length. It's right again into the corner of the court and. Goff gets a racket on it, but it floats along. So it is 5-2 to Goff now. Love this. Ons upon a time in Berlin. I'm loving these puns. I love a good pun. Ons' his name as well just lends it to, to a pun very beautifully, I think. So we have Ons here with the return of serve of Goff and then goes to the backhand again into that corner from Ons Jabur. 
And it is four set points for Ange Bird. It's 6 2 in this tie break. She's been putting that ball into that corner on the back and wing. And now set points for the top seed. It's a good first serve from Goff there, though, and the return is long from Ons, so 6 3. But Jabir will now serve. She'll have two set points on her own serve. A crowd getting involved. Three set points for on Jabir. Two on her own serve. Good. Oh, it's a left for the first serve. So she'll get another first. Takes a deep breath. Anjabu with the serve here. Good down the tee. The return is good from Goff, though. Then the forehand cross court from Anjabu. Good length from Coco Goff. Again into that corner from Anjabu. And then she comes, oh, goes for the drop shot, but it doesn't clear the net. A little bit frustrated. And it is 6 4. She's still got two set points. <laughs> yeah, did I know that Anjabu is the Tunisian Minister of Happiness? <laughs> That's great. Not surprised. Anjabur's brain. Oh, and it's an ace down the tee from Anjabur to seal the set. She gets that set. Seven games to six on the tie break. A lovely ace to seal it. And it is a brilliant start for Anjabur. Enjoy the button. It's her, it's her, it's her. We're talking about Anjabur. And we have just hit 100 likes on the video. So thank you to everyone for liking. And don't forget to keep liking. Let's try to get to 200 now. So it's been a really good first set. There was nothing to really separate them up until that tie break. And then Ons ran away with it in the end. Seven games to six. Prediction here. Seven, seven six. Six love, I think it would be, but uh, with predicting a bagel in the second set for Anjabu. <laughs> Red Devil, we're talking about Anjabu. Yeah. I sing, I will be singing that all day. So it's a great start here now for Anjabu. Can she carry that momentum through with her into the second set? Over in Queens, I believe Krajinovic and Cilic are just about to get underway for their semi-final. Also, Hercatch and Kyrgios over in Halle are four games apiece in the first set in that semi-final. Medvedev winning his first semi-final in Halle. Berrettini taking his in Queens. So it will be Jabir to get us underway in this second set. Sure, ticket holders in Berlin today are very happy. They had a great three setter with the Slackery benches earlier, very high quality, and now a good one here as well with the tie break in the first set. So we have Anjabur now to get us underway. It's a good first serve, and the return is long from Goff. 15 love. If you're looking for a link for the uh for the match, it's streamed on Prime Video or Be in Sport. Here we just do a live watch along for, you know, anybody who can't actually watch the match. You can listen to our commentary. Hope you're enjoying it. Red Devil can't wait for Wimbledon. Yeah, I'm really excited for Wimbledon. I know it's a, it's a, a bit of an odd one this year, you know, with all the the bans and the ranking points. and But it, it's still Wimbledon, so I will, of course, be watching every minute of it. And hopefully covering a lot of matches for you as well. Anjabu here at 40 love goes to the drop shot Goff is there though but Anjabu with the passing shot and it is indeed a game to love for Anjabu a great start to this second set <laughs> Oh, 
So on Jabu after taking the first set on a tiebreak, then gets a nice game to love to get this second set underway. Just under an hour on the clock. It's been a good first set. Yeah, very little to separate them in the, the stats on the first set, both with one break point each taking that break point. 46 points to 38 on Jabur with the 46 there. Similar first serve uh, percentages. And we have a second serve here for Goff. Second serve here, Goff serving. And just the boarded ball toss there. So she'll go again. Not sure maybe if the sun is in her eyes a little bit as it's setting. Oh, it's down the tee. Lovely. Ons just gets a racket on it. So it's not an ace, but it's as good as. And it's 15 love. Just caught on the line there. Uh, it's a nice first serve from Goff, but the backhand return is good from Jabir as well. Jabir with the drop shot. Goff is there, though, with the passing shot. 30 love. It's a good response to the drop shot there from Coco Goff. She was on it like a flash to hit the backhand cross-court passing shot. That's a good first serve from Goff. And then we have a backhand from Anjabur. Goff comes into the net, though, and pushes the ball wide. So it's 30-15. MJ asks, do you think it'll go three or can Ons do straight? <sighs> Again, with that first set, it was so close. Nothing to separate them. Uh, I think I think Anjabur can do it in straight, I think. But, you know, it, I think it got, could go either way, this one. So 30-15 here for Goff. First serve is just wide. It'll be a second serve. So the second serve. Oh, it's a double fault from Coco Goff. That's a second of the match. 30 all. A little bit of pressure here on the serve of Goff in this second set. Yeah, two double faults for, Jabir, uh, for Goff. That first one coming in, that tie break. Good first serve there, though, from Goff. The backhand from Jabir is long. She's a bit frustrated with that one, but it's 40 30. So, Coco Goff here with a good first serve for Jabir. Just about gets the return in play, and then it's a nice slice down the line from Goff. Oh, and Jabir gets the nice shot. She goes to the passing shot. Goff just about gets a racket on it, but it's into the net, and it is juice. Over in Harlem, Nick Kyrgios is serving for that first set against Hercatch at 5-4. So juice here on the serve of Coco Goff. And a second serve chance here for Anjabur to really possibly run away with this match. Here we go. Second serve from Goff. Oh, just about in. It clips the net. <laughs> nice little football shot there from Anjabur. We know she's good at her football. Juice and second serve. And it's a forehand return from Anjabur. And the forehand from Goff is wide. And it is advantage Jabur. We have a break point. The first break point of this second set. <laughs> Love the comment here. If Anjabur wins this match, I will receive you in Tunisia and give you a free tour. I will I will take you up on that. Definitely. I've never been to Tunisia. So it's a good first serve from Goff. And the return is also good from Anjabur. We now have a forehand down the line from Jabur. Oh, Jabir with the backhand slice, it just clips the top of the net and dribbles over. And it is indeed the break of serve for on Jabir. A oh, bit lucky on that last shot with the, the net cord, but she is playing very well as on Jabir. And she's now serving at two love in this second set. 
We have a prediction here for Haddad Meyer to upset Halep tomorrow. Yeah, Haddad Meyer isn't some great form on the grass court winning Nottingham last week, so could be an upset on the cards there. Yeah, also, this isn't easy for both players. Yeah, it, it's, it's you know, there's nothing to separate them both, really, you know, with that, until that tie break in the first set. It's 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 a tough one, like we saw earlier with Sakari and Benchich as well. But it is 30 love here for Jabir. Jabir's doing quite well on her serve. She was broken that once in the first set. But here we are at 30 love. So to try to consolidate that break of serve. Question here, how many minutes left for the match? Honestly, with tennis, you have no idea. It's it's over when the last point <laughs> is. You know, if, if Jabir runs away with a second set, we could be done in... 20, 30 minutes or so, but if Goff takes the second set, then we're in for a third, and it could go much longer. That's the beauty of tennis, really. Good first serve there from Jabir, but it's a good return from Goff, and Jabir can't get the backhand away, so it is 40-15. I see lots of on Jabir fans in the comments here. If she consolidates the break here, I will play the Jabir button for you again. And she does indeed consolidate the break. It is a game to 15 for Angebeu. It is three love. And as promised. It's her, it's her, it's her. We're talking about Angebeu. So on Jabir with the real advantage here now took the first set on a tie break 7-6 and is now up a break in the second. Three love just over an hour on the clock for this match. Over in Halle, Nick Kyrgios has just won the first set in that semi-final against Hubert Hurkacz. And over in Queens, Filip Krajinovic and Marin Cilic are just underway a game apiece in their semi-final. Play in Birmingham was cancelled for the day. Uh, there were two semifinals. The women's semifinals there uh, were supposed to take place, but the rain has washed those plans away, so they will be played tomorrow. The final here in Berlin tomorrow will be the winner of this versus Belinda Bencic, who came through a three-setter, really good three-setter against Maria Sakari this morning. Yeah, come here. Anjabur makes history in Tunisia, Africa, and the Arab world in tennis. Yeah, what she's doing for Arab tennis is is huge, and and North African tennis as well. Like uh, not just for tennis, but I think sport in general. Anjabur is a great ambassador for this sport. So Coco Goff here serving. It's a good start though. Fifteen love is down a break. It is just the one break of serve even though 3-love looks a little bit worse than, you know, 2-1. But, oh, Goff with the serve and volley here, but doesn't need to hit the ball because the return is long there from Jabir as it's left by Goff, and it's 30-love. Oh, with prediction here for a bagel in the second set, 6-love. Good first serve there from Goff, and, oh, the return is just about in for on Jabir, but it's an easy put away for Coco Goff. It is 40-love. If you're looking for a stream for the game, you can watch on Prime Video or on Be In Sport as well. So 40 Love could be a good service hold for Coco Goff, just what she'd need in this second set. It's a good first serve. The return from Goff is also good. Uh, Jabir. Goff is into the net and the lob from on Jabir is good. It's 40-15. It's A few serve and volleys here from Goff in this match, but on Jabir managed to get a good lob. Over the head of Goff, 40-15. Crowd trying to get in involved here again. Goff, the first serve, is 
It's a good first serve into the net from Onshabir, and Coco Goff does get a game on the board in this second set. It is 3 1. You like that? It's getting better. It's my match. Let me tell you, I'm knocking women out by like one, two, three. Coco. So on Shabir serving up a break in the second set here. And it's 15 love. It was a good serve from Shabir. And then the shot was pushed along by Coco Goff. Took the first set on a tie break, did Shabir. Goes to the serve down the tee, but it's just wide. It'll be a second serve at 15 love. Oh, it's a good second serve. It's deep in the box, and Coco Goff's return is into the net, so it is 30 love. So Jabur looking good on serve here in this second set. And it's a good first serve again for Jabur. Nothing that uh, Coco Goff can do about that one. It is 40 love, a very quick service game here for the Tunisian. Could it be a game to love here for Anjabur? Oh, it's an ace from Anjabur. What a service game that was for Ons. It's a game to love. Anjabur flying in the second set. She uh, consolidates that break of serve um, with a service game of her own. A game to love. And it is 4-1. Took the first set on a tie break, 7-6. But it's all Jabir in the second set. So I think you know what's coming. It's the on Jabir button. It's her, it's her, it's her. We're talking about on Jabir. talking about on lot of you here rooting for on Shabir, saying you make us proud North African here. Yeah, on Shabir is amazing for this sport. She really is what she's doing for, for Tunisia and North Africa and Arab tennis in general. On's on the way to the win. Okay, she says Coco saving her best for Wimby. <laughs> yeah, I think Coco's got a real chance to do some some serious damage at Wimbledon. She, obviously, her breakout tournament there at Wimbledon, where she beat Venus Williams. Coco Goff is going to be a very tough opponent for anybody on the grass at Wimbledon, I think. Prediction here, 6-3 for Jabir in this second set. Prediction that the final will be Jabir versus Bencic. Bencic, of course, winning that semi-final against Zachary this morning. So it's a let on the second serve of Coco Goff here. Second serve, Goff. Backhand return from Anjabur. Then the forehand from Goff is into the net. It is love 15. A little bit of trouble here for Goff. So over in uh, in Queens, you have Chilich and Krajinovic, two games apiece over there, but Krajinovic with three break points. And in Halle, you have Herkac versus Kyrgios. Kyrgios with the first set in the bag, 6-4, but on serve in the second. Uh, goes to the big serve down the tee does Goff, but it's wide. Prediction that Ons will be winning the tournament. Ons, again, I think she'll do really well in uh, Wimbledon. She'd be eager there last year, making the quarterfinals. Oh, and it's into the net from uh, Coco Goff. It's Love 30. Glad uh, I've been bringing some positive vibes for you and good luck. Hope you're enjoying the commentary. Please remember to like the video if you are enjoying and to subscribe to us. We've hit over 100 likes. Let's try to get to 200. Prediction from Ali 6 4 for Tunisia. It is love 30 on the serve of Goff as well. So if Anjabir 
takes this game mid. She'll be serving for the match. Oh, but the return from Jabir just can't quite creep over the net. It is 15.30. So Tunisia qualified for the World Cup in football, handball, basketball, and volleyball. That's great. And got Wales qualifying for the Football World Cup as well. So brilliant. <laughs> Love for Tunisia and Wales there. Oh, it was a body serve there from Goff. It was called uh, it was called long, but a little apology there because it almost hit Ons. Second serve from Goff, the forehand return from Ons Jabir, then the forehand cross court a looping ball from Coco Goff, and then the backhand cross court from Jabir is good. She then goes to the forehand, the forehand from Coco Goff is good. Oh, it's a shank from Coco Goff though, and it is. 15.40, it's a break point on Shabur. Yeah. And you feel this is a virtual match point here for on Shabur. It's 15.40, Goff was brilliant in that first set, but on I think, stepped up her level a bit in this second, and it's break point, two break points for on Shabur. And a second serve to look at as well. off under a lot of pressure now it's a good serve 400 turn from Jabir is good and it's into the net from Coco Goff Jabir does get the double break it is a break for on Jabir it is five games to one and she is going to serve for the sets and we are at the business end of this match now Jabir serving for the match <laughs> And it's a good first serve there from Anjabir. The return is into the net from Coco Goff. It is 15 love, just three points away from the final here in Berlin. Now is Jabir potentially a trip to Eager's Bakery on the cards here. Possible breadstick. Jabir oh, comes in for the serve and volley, but is into the net from the Tunisian there. It's 15 all. So here we are on Jabir serving for the match. 15 all. Oh, the serve is just long. Second serve to look at for Coco Goff. Can she try and make a comeback in this set? Oh, it's a good return of serve from Coco Goff. Great length on the backhand there, and it's 15 30. Maybe Coco Goff's trying to make a comeback here. Jabir, still three points away. It's a good first serve, though. Oh, but the return of serve, again, clips the net from Coco Goff, and it just about goes over the net. That's really unfortunate there for Ange Jabir. And it is a break point for Coco Goff to get one of these breaks back. 15-40. Good first serve. It's a good return from Goff. It's deep. Jabir's ball is just on the line as well, and Goff with another length of her own. Goff with the volley. Jabir gets to it. Oh, it's been called not up. And okay, Coco Goff is back in the second set. She gets the break right back. And Coco Goff does indeed avoid the breadstick. It's a break back for her as Jabir was serving for the match. So it is 5 2 on Jabir. But Coco Goff maybe on her way back into this match. So a little bit against the script there. Jabir was flying in this second setup at 5-1, but Goff gets one of the breaks back. Hour and 13 minutes on the clock. A very tight first set, taken on a tie break by On Jabir. Again, Coco will be serving to stay in it. But maybe a bit of momentum with the young American now. Over in Halle, it is a set to the good for Nick Kyrgios and two games apiece against Hercatch. And Krajanovic is up a break on Marin Cilic over in Queens. 
Belinda Bencic awaiting the winner of this one in the final with a three-set win over Maria Sakkari this morning. And in case you didn't uh, catch the play for Birmingham, the semifinals, the women's were meant to take place today, but rain has completely uh, scuppered those plans. So they will be taking place tomorrow instead. So Coco Goff here serving once again to stay in this match. Down 5-2 in the second set. Good serve down the tee. It's a good return from Shabur, though, and the backhand from Goff is into the net. Love 15. So, good start in this game for Ron Shabur. That's a good first serve there from Goff, but the return is very good from Shabur. Goff gets to it, though, and Goff comes into the net now with a lovely little backhand drop shot from Coco Goff. Shabur gives a thumbs up for that one as well. It was very good from Goff, and uh, it is 15 all. Goff, there's some good net play of her own this, this match. We know that Jabir, of course, excels at the net, but Goff is doing pretty well on that front as well. Oh, but it's a good overhead put away there for on Jabir. It is 15-30. She's going to look to close this one out on the serve of Goff here. So Goff now, 15-30 serving to stay in this match. Good first serve. The forehand return from Jabir is good. The forehand from Goff clips the net, but it's good. Oh, but she comes into the net to respond to Jabir's shot, and the backhand is long from Coco Goff. It is match point on Jabir. Match point. So two match points here for on Jabir to look at on the serve of Coco Goff for a place in the final tomorrow. First serve is good. We have a return from Anjabir is also good. The forehand down the line from Coco Goff. Coco Goff comes to the net. Jabir with the lob. Oh, but the doesn't get over the net. There's a better volley there from Coco Goff. It is 30-40. Still a match point for Anjabir. Match point. Match point number two for Ron Jabir. First serve clips the net. It's a let. Coco Goff serving here to stay in the match. Second match point for Ron Jabir. It's a good serve. Back and return from Ron Jabir. Then the forehand cross court from Goff. And the forehand is long from Coco Goff. It is the match for Ange Jabeur. Top seed Ange Jabeur comes through in straight sets. It's a lovely exchange between the two at the net. Coco Goff is all smiles. You, you can't help but love these two players. They're both great to watch and seem like really nice women as well. But it is the final tomorrow for Ange Jabeur. Top seed is through to face Belinda Bencic in tomorrow's final. Indeed, she is unstoppable tight first set there seven six with the tie break but then she really did run away with it in that second set she served for the match and lost her serve there but eventually broke on the serve of golf to take that six two in the second set so an hour and 17 minutes on the clock it's a straight sets win for on Shabur. and the tunisian is into yet another final one madrid final of rome and is now in the final here in berlin Surely it's looking good for Anne Shabur in Wimbledon. Thank you very much to all of you for joining me. Before I go, don't forget to hit the like button, to subscribe to the channel, give us a follow on all the socials as well. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been a really good match and I really love chatting to you guys about tennis and I will see you very, very soon on the next stream for sure. So for now, it's on Shabur, 7-6, 6-2 into the final tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching.